to uh, enlighten our parents uh, about the additional or supplementary immunization activity which we are going to, going to carry out across the country, particularly focused on nine districts which we have identified um, on 6th of January 2024. Now, as you all know, in 2020, 21, and 22, across the globe, the immunization coverage has been dropped. It's not only in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka impact is extremely, extremely low. But most of the countries we have observed, and World Health Organization has reported across that many countries in the world, immunization program programs have been affected. So that as a result, coverage has been dropped. And Subsequently, as a result of these measles, outbreaks have been reported from most of the countries in the world, whether it is developing country or developed country. So Sri Lanka also we started to see since May 2023 this year, that some cases are being reported. We have seen most of the cases have been reported from Kalambu district, Gampa district and, and Jaffna. So looking at the number of cases reported, as well as the population density, the Ministry of Health, the Advisory Committee on Communicable Diseases, and also with the expert opinion from uh, WHO Southeast Asia Regional Office. We have one of the experts uh, with us today, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Kumar, who is the coordinator for immunization and vaccine development, particularly came to support us uh, for this campaign, also with us in this audience. So with all this expertise, uh, opinion, we decided to have a supplementary immunization activity uh, on 6th of January. So our midwives will visit house by house and give a leaflet to educate the parents. And we, have, we are going to establish 1,600 uh, immunization clinics during 6th of January to ensure that each and every child between 6 months and 9 months uh, we get MMR vaccine. In addition, across the country, there may be children who have not got, numbers may be very much low, but who have not got the first dose of MMR, or maybe they have got the first dose, but they have not got the second dose. Children between age of 9 months to 15 years, so they also will be getting an additional dose during this time, or they are due dose during this time. So this is the main purpose of organizing this media briefing uh, to uh, ensure that each and every parents in the country will get this information and will ensure that they will bring their children for the immunization. So I don't want to take much of time, time out from the schedule, but let me again appreciate the immunization uh, program of Sri Lanka, which is one of the best in the world. There's no country in the world which are reached either 99.9% .9 coverage or 100% coverage. Without any hesitation, I can mention Sri Lanka is the only country which reaches 100% or 99.9% .9 immunization coverage. So I am very much optimistic that with this uh, supplementary immunization activity, the measles cases uh, reported will be reduced and uh, we will continue to have uh, Sri Lanka free of measles. So, is the main idea of having this press meeting. We have invited uh, WHO representative of uh, Sri Lanka, Dr. Alaka Singh, who is with us. Also the UNICEF representative, uh, Mr. Christian. And also we have invited uh, Dr. Kumar uh, from Southeast Asia Regional Office. And we have the Direct General Health Services and the Chief Epidemiologist to brief you. So I'll stop here. And if there are any questions, we are very much happy to answer. And let me invite Dr. Alaka Singh to say a few words. And after that, it, uh, followed by uh, Mr. Christian, the UNICEF representative. Alaka, thank you.